This is O'Connor for the Global Sources Startup Launchpad, and I'm with Ethan and also James, as in Ethan Hunt and James Bond. No, but you're part of a three person team. Mr. T is not here at the moment, but he's around. He's very busy. He's around. Yeah, he's yeah. very busy. He's busy he's with customers. Busy man, he's and, doing uh, the sales. Exactly. <laughs> very busy with customers. Okay, now you represent the name of your company is BC Lab. Is that right? BC X Lab. BCX Lab, yeah, very nice. All right, and you got this product here. Now, yesterday we had a quick review of it, but we're just gonna look at this again. So this is a, a pen holder, okay? You'll put this in between the screen and the keyboard. Is that right? Yep, that's correct. And correctly. you've got wires underneath for yep. other devices you might connect. Uh, you've got volume control, you've got Bluetooth, of course, pen holder, but this is the groovy part at the back. We've got uh, line in, DC, we've got power, and also we've got the high storage connectors. Exactly. Which is very important. Yeah, so Once it's also a USB hub, and all these uh, USB ports are right. powered as well. Yeah. So, James, have you done this through crowdfunding at the moment, or where are you at? Uh, not yet. Uh, right now, we are at the prototyping phase, and uh, right. We're actually right now preparing everything uh, behind the scenes for crowdfunding. Wow. So we haven't decided yet if we're gonna go for Indiegogo or oh, for Kickstarter. Wow. But it's gonna happen in uh, wow. one month time. And because yeah. you've got something that's workable, you can do either. Exactly. Because in some ways, because yeah. Kickstarter is a little bit more stringent, right, on what you have to have. It's true. Yeah. You have to have true. something working, is that right? It's true. So Indiegogo, you can have it's a bit anything, right? It's a bit easier, yeah. Well, we've made quite some investments already to get it for prototyping. Right. So we're quite confident with this product. And wow. We have a very good panel where we show the product already. Wow. Everybody likes it. Of course, you cannot satisfy everybody. Yes. But this is the result of uh, some really good people with a really good input. And, wow. Um, and people at the show love it. Did you pitch yeah. it here? Uh, no, we haven't. Not yeah. yet? Okay. What is the number one feedback that you received so far on this product? Well, people are surprised because it's a, it's a totally new product. Uh, right. We're combining a lot of functions that would beforehand exist in, in like separate products. And, wow. and now we have one unit that can yeah, do everything and, at once. And the good thing about it, it goes right in the middle of, right in here, right? Yes, So exactly. In between the screen and the keyboard, right there. And what is the price we're talking about? Between zero and a hundred dollars, right? Yeah, well, yes. uh, when so, we crowdfunded, we will try to uh, uh, have the price below 100 US, so okay. 99 will be the best. Right. Uh, but if it's really eventually coming into retail, we'll probably between 129, 139. Yep. Right, so hit the crowd, look out for this new crowdfunding product and the price between a keyboard and a screen. About that, <laughs> right? Correct. Okay. Just some questions about your, ch uh, for other viewers that may be in startups and they're thinking of developing a product like this, which element of the development was most difficult? Was it the, uh, the electronics, the firmware, the hardware? Which part was the most challenging part? It's a combination part? of everything. I would say right. the, the mechanical engineering is the hardest part. Right. Um, Did some... you originally have the product that it was going to be a circle? And was it going to be down like that? Was that originally like that? Or did yeah, you have it was it? originally okay. from yeah. drawings. Uh... Yeah. Right. Because the okay. functional design is very important. Right. Uh, because it should be easy to use. Yes. It should be practical to use. Yes. So the design is very important. And also we're from a uh, from origin a Dutch company. Wow. So we look into uh, a design also that is minimalistic. Yes. Not too much puha. It just has to be nice. It has to be sleek, and it has to be practical. Wow. And this is exactly the a good wow. example of that. Now this yeah. is designed in Hong Kong. It is. It is designed in Hong Kong. Manufactured yeah. in Shenzhen. Exactly. Yes. Right. Yeah. Just across the border. For those that don't know, and. How did you find your manufacturing partner? Like that's, a lot of startups I talked to, they got a design, they got the prototype, but moving from prototype to ramping up production, they're not sure which factory to choose. How do they know to choose the right factory? Of course, you have a, you have a selection process in there. Right. You use certain criteria. Uh, we also lucky that. By the way, I'm talking about this tomorrow on the, on the uh, platform. Okay. Yeah, we know. Oh, well, so we'll that's why I'm asking yeah, you. We'll to, no, we'll I need you to, to tell me so I can tell them what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have we have guys in our team, including myself. We I think we have a network of over 100 factories. For most products, uh, a network usually, of 100. We, yeah, we usually wow. know where, who who has the engineering capability to do this. Right. Okay, so there's a community. It's a community that yeah. you've been part of. 
Yes. Like, even though you've been in Holland for most of your life, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. And I grew up in Holland, but originally from Hong Kong. Yes. And now you're in Hong Kong for a long time, nearly as long as me. And so what you're saying is a community of factories, so then you get, you're working with the relationships in that community. That's correct. And then you only needed one manufacturer to work with? Uh, yes, but on component level, it will be, of course, much more. And then you had to work with a PCB manufacturer? Yes. And not much firmware, but more, that's just to control the power and the data transfer. Yeah. Uh, right. exactly. most, uh, the right. most challenging part is to, to, get the, uh, to get the sound quality out that we... Ah, we forgot to mention that, all right? Because yeah. there's, there's speakers on each side here, okay? So what are we talking about? Half of two watts? What is it? 2.5 watts. 2.5 watts. total of 5 watts. Okay, so you've got 5 watt speaker here. So amazing, it's got all in one. It's got, Correct. Like, yeah. I look on my desk, I have about three or four different devices that does everything that this does. Exactly, and this actually combines everything. There you go, it's a speaker. Yeah. But the speaker here is even better. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look forward to this in the crowdfunding campaign coming up. Indiegogo, Kickstarter. Yep. Yeah, Look for either two. one of the others, not yet ch chosen. Not yet chosen. And yeah. the price around a bit under $100 US dollars and pricing it right. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations, James. Thank you. And yeah. Ethan. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, Mr. T, who's not here, but no. part of the team. And look out for that name BCX Lab. Thank you. And we're at the startup. We've had O'Connor over and out. Bye for now.